God bless. God bless. I'm just an idiotic, stupid dog. Do you know how hard it is to fumble a monk around with your cell phone when you have dog paws? I got paws. Yeah, I got the apparatus. I can slip my finger, my paws in those stupid cones the rabbit designed. But then I have to explain the whole backstory of the rabbit. I mean, it's it doesn't even it doesn't flow. It doesn't whatever. So I don't even know what I'm doing. And that's the thing. It's just superficial, sparse. It's like you're brushing against this bull crap. With the R word guy. Everybody knows the R word guy. Brando Buckingham. This guy, he interviews people is what I, I feel like if I read it right on Wikipedia. Brando Buckingham self-published videos of himself talking to somebody on a, something called, I don't even know what, Old Block or something in Chicago. It's the most dangerous place in the world. So that's interesting. But every time I get on there, all I see him is staring, like, you know, up his nostrils. He's got his camera low down on the bottom of his whatever. He's sitting, like, at a computer desk with a camera down low, push shooting up at his nostrils, and he's bitching and moaning. And it must be like, as the world turns, a lot of people must like to follow this soap opera. As far as I can tell, and again, I'm probably wrong because it's difficult. You got to, like, watch five or six or seven videos. You got to look up words. You got to look up how to pronounce such certain words, like uh, Sneeko. So, Mr. Buckingham, he's, he's mad at Sneeko because Sneeko called him a rapist. And he's pitching over all his old friends. He's throwing all his, cutting ties and throwing all his friends away because he says uh, if they want to continue to, you know, uh, be friends with, uh, you know, the people. Like, for instance, he says, uh, Gideon is friends with Sneeko. Now, I'm not sure I understand, you know, Gideon did this or Gideon did that. Gideon didn't give Brando credit for, for, for some videos or he didn't credit him on the whatever. That's Brandon Buckingham is a diva, but he's talented. You know, you can tell the guy's talented. Uh, but he's mad at all his old friends like Gideon or Sneeko because he says, well, whatever. He's, he's mad at Gideon, I guess, because... Or any, and any of his other friends. Like I think Marty McSorley is one of his friends. And I think a couple people from the Skanks are his friends. And that weird little skinny guy from the Jackass is one of his friends. But he says all these people, he's caught them off because he says they want to keep on collaborating and they continue to stream. That's like a loving kind of a relationship when you continue to stream. It's like when the Hollywood couples, they uncouple, but they continue to lovingly stream. Like uh, Giels and Tom Brady are going to continually stream with regard to the children. They're going to continue streaming. But, you know, it doesn't matter. The thing is, all these jerks, as far as I can tell, as Brandon Buckingham, Sneeko, Gideon, all these, all these guys, they're all very successful at monetizing themselves. And as I watch it, as I look at it, for the hell of me, I can't understand why. Believe me. Uh, I mean, I can barely stand to watch enough to give a superficial take and not even know what the hell I'm talking about. It's like somebody's got their arm up my ass and they're, I'm mouthing the words. Whatever. They're, te- they're putting the words, they're not even, uh, they're lip syncing or whatever you call it. You know, where they're just jammer japping my jaw up and down, but they're the ones who are actually talking. But it doesn't matter. It's all right.